Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo of Gaming here and today we are playing some more BTD6. So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit interesting. I'm gonna be doing it in the challenge editor because I don't feel like, well, having to retry multiple times. Um so basically uh, I'll just make this infinite. We are going to be using primary towers and a village. That's it, to be honest. And here's what we're gonna do. It's middle path only, yes. So, I'm gonna be doing this for a sort of specific reason. I don't know if you guys know this, but the, I'm just gonna allow all village upgrades. Fourth tier village, primary mentoring actually lowers, um, uh, it lowers your uh, primary towers ability cooldowns by 10%, which is a buff I didn't know it got. So, I'm sure a lot of you don't know this either, but it does, well, it does that. And it's a pretty insane, well, utility. It has some pretty insane utility when you use it, I guess. So basically, we are going to be playing on Monkey Meadow because you know what it doesn't get played all that often and it's a pretty fun map so we're going to be taking advantage of this to do chimps mode and hopefully it'll be fun so yeah um my goal is going to be plasma monkey fan club because that's definitely our best bet against ddt's i mean we could also technically go for mib and pomo charge that's a really good combo as well but i think i'm going to try to go for plasma monkey fan club so, speaking of that, let's do a quadruple doubt stout. Or not quadruple, triple doubt stout. It's a pretty common chimp stout, and you know what? We're gonna be getting pretty big doubt monkey army in the long run anyways. So, um, I think I'm gonna rush a triple doubt and probably get that into Super Monkey Fan Club as soon as possible. Okay, with triple shot, it's really good, to be honest. Triple shots are insanely powerful. They don't get used all that much, or at least I don't use them all that much, but they are really powerful doubt monkeys. So that's great. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna need Super Monkey Fan Club for 40, but not necessarily. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a discount village, but I'm not sure if we can get it now. It would be the greed play, but it could be a little bit difficult to pull off and survive in the early game. But, I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. So I'm actually, I don't know. We definitely should go for it, so I think I will save for it and see if we have to buy something else. We'll probably just go for camo on this stout if, or oh, by the time we reach round 24. But we shall see. Okay, we actually can go for it right now, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, it's only in range of the first two, but whatever. Monkey commons, oh, monkey commerce. Uh, I'm gonna go for camo on the triple doubt. Having a little bit of difficulty now. We will we have to drop panic doubt? I feel like we will, but no, we won't. Not this round. So what's our plan now? Do we save for the super monkey fan club? It is an option, but I have a feeling that it might be a better idea to go for triple or for triple doubt spam. So um, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm also hoping to go for a. Uh, blue storm in the long run but looking at this we already have some issues okay well what if we go i don't know let's just try camo or not camo very quick shots i'm not sure if we had that last game we might have we did range yeah no a little bit close but not quite close enough okay a little bit tight um it could be more effective to simply place another dart monkey and then go for quick shots. Since a single dart monkey can make a big difference. And just barely made it. Okay, so how do we do so far against the mob? Honestly, I'll be. We popped it. You know what? That's pretty good. We actually came pretty close with that one. So let's try just a single extra dart monkey. Or triple shot and we'll go from there. Does it work? 
Yes, it does. Yes, okay. Now we'll head back on to saving for our Super Monkey Fan Club, which hopefully we'll have pretty quickly. I think I'm going to go for two before we start saving for Plasma, since their uptime isn't the best, and you definitely want to have one up most of the time. Okay, and round 49 we have a couple of problems. I think I'm gonna go for a second Super Monkey Fan Club like I said earlier, and then save for primary mentoring. And then we'll just try to spend as little money as possible up until Plasma Monkey Fan Club. All right, let's use one now. That should make easy work of this round. And we'll still have one up for round 50. Though we might not need it for the Morab. The Super Monkey Fan Club is actually a really big buff to the triple doubt. Wow, those Regos were a little scary there. But on to the more we go. Do we need the Super Monkey Fan Club for the first one? The first one is LEDs. It doesn't have ceramics underneath, but we still do. Okay. So that's fine. And we'll have it up in time for the second wave as well. Or for the... Not the second wave, for the LEDs as well. Preferably? Yes? No? Yes? Yes. For the start of the ceramics, but not the last. We might have to do a little better ability timing, but no. Have the ability up again there. We're good to go. Let's go for primary mentoring. So yeah, if you didn't know, increased range and reduced ability cooldown by actually 10%. We need to get more camo. Only two of them still have camo. Let's get all of them to camo. And on to 59. Which hopefully we won't have some problems with the regrow balloons. I know we were earlier though. Camo leads. I completely forgot about you. We need to get a camo detection for our glue. Rhymed a little bit. Or we could go for a Juggernaut, not the worst option either. Let's see, what do we want to do? We probably should go for Camo Village. Especially since that means that at least for the next couple darts, we don't have to buy Camo. But we still might want to. Um, now, I think it makes sense to go for the Camo Village. It is under discount, so it's pretty cheap. And we might... No, I think that's probably good. Camo lead detection should be fine now. We can continue on our way. Okay, first things first. Blue hose. Is that anywhere near enough without an ability? Don't think so. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to activate the ability. But it is possible... No, we definitely need it there. A lot of those balloons aren't glued though. Was there two waves that came out without me noticing? It's definitely possible. Okay, I'm going to bite the bullet and buy a third one because I think we're going to need it. I'm going to buy glue hose and let's go for a few more triple doubts. One. Two and come on. Range of villages. Three. So are we at ten now? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, so we can still get two more before they don't get affected. And it's not really worth it for us to buy more than 10, which is a little too bad. All right, so three should be full uptime. Come on, clean up, not clean up. Dang it. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, three should be full uptime for the um, fan club, which is good. So looking at this, we have that's six stout monkeys. We'll probably want to go for all ten. Seven. Eight. Nine. Um, sure, let's go here. Number ten. How does that go? Spam the ability. How does that work? Are we good? Are we not good? Oh wait, those should be able to... Yes, just barely clutch up. And the next wave, we want to make sure that as soon as the ability wears off, we use it again, since we do have full uptime now on the ability. At least, I think we do with three Super Monkey Fan Clubs. I'm not sure if we would without the primary mentoring, but like I said, 10% discount on three different... Um, on three different fan clubs makes a big difference, and we should be able to just 
constantly spam the fan club now. Okay, we are moving into free play, which makes me a little bit scared because free play could be a very dangerous territory for dark monkeys. We are only 10k away from Plasma Monkey Fan Club, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous for free play. Free play can be very devastating. Definitely devastating. I have no clue why I didn't use an ability there. We definitely have the opportunity to. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be hopefully not too difficult. We will be using hopefully an ice stall to recharge the Plasma Monkey Fan Club because anything except Plasma Monkey Fan Club can actually pop ice. And then, you know, Corrosive Blue. But Corrosive Blue is no different than Ice's damage. Doesn't make that big of a difference. 81. I really hope this doesn't make us spend more money. Or... Yeah, I really hope it doesn't make us spend more money. Alright, so the Shrams, they're not taking us too long so far, which is good. 81 is really the test to see how bad, sh how much of a bad shape you're in for, well free play because the ceramics will only get tougher but we're not doing that bad against them now have to be careful to keep our abilities up this doesn't look the best but are we good we good please tell me we're good that's a lot of moab still though i'm not sure we can deal with those no we can't we could be in trouble now though okay first thing if we buy range on the two or three darts that don't have it. I assume that doesn't make a difference. And now we don't have the ability up at the start, which isn't good either. That makes it that much harder to deal with the round. Okay. We definitely might have to go for an ice tower of some sorts. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, but definitely could be a possibility. We'll wait and see. Now we're off for that one too. Not looking the best for our ability timing. Yeah, I'm gonna go in advance for 012 ice. Hopefully that'll be all the help we need. Just to stall out the ceramics. Hopefully. I don't think too many mobs will make it down there, but I don't really know. They are, of course, ah, uh, that was bad ability timing on my part. It's actually not necessarily a good thing if we win now because of that. They are definitely attacking the frozen balloons, which isn't good. Okay, the ice stall is working for us for this too. So as you can see, there's the ice stall. Hopefully we can deal with the zebras. We might have to go for another <laughs> fan club, but this will actually recharge all of our abilities, which is good because I messed up my ability timing there, but this is going to take us a while, so... I'll see you when the ice finally kills these ceramics. Or all of them. Okay, sorry about that. The game crashed. We are back on round... Or not back. We're on to round 82. Okay. Um, hopefully we don't have any more issues. Gotta keep track of our ability timings. We are less than 4,000 away though now from the Plasma Monkey Fan Club. But this round has Fortifieds. And I don't think we'll be able to buy the Plasma Monkey Fan Club before the Fortifieds strike back. Or strike as hard. Um, I don't know. I definitely could have had a little bit better ability timing there. They're t all targeting first. We lose now. Alright, I think I might target them to strong. I'll definitely have to do some targeting this round because they're d targeting the frozen balloons instead of the mohaps. Oh, Great. Okay, let's try strong. Simply. Strong will make a big difference. Maybe big enough one? We will see. Does Strong do a good enough job? Let's find out. I'm gonna keep two on first because we definitely do need some force to deal with stray balloons that don't like the zebras and such but hopefully two the issue is definitely when they target the ice though which is the negative of the ice 
they target the ice when we can't actually pop them. Duh. Is this the one? Maybe. Sorry about that. Low power mode. Is this drawn? Please deal with those last two ceramics people on first. Please deal with this last ceramic. Please, please deal with the last ceramic. I think we're good. We have the ice doll in place. It looks like we have this round beaten. Hopefully. Hopefully. And $1,200 off. This might at These ceramics might actually give us enough money for Plasma Monkey Fans Lab, which will be pretty helpful. Have to wait and find out, though. Okay, the last ceramic, we done? There we go. Round 63. How are you gonna go? A lot of ceramics to start off. Plus Monkey Fan Club. Woo. We have the ability. It does mean we no longer can have, like, continuous normal Fan Club, but we do have Plasma whenever that messes us up. Which, let's try it out now. Look at that destruction. So here's the thing. We technically can get, I believe, 10, maybe, I think 10 more darts. But I also kind of want to save with Loose Storm, because I feel like that would be a really good combo. Because I'm pretty sure they only do one damage, and if you didn't know, Loose Storm increases the damage. So I'm not going to get Loose Strike yet, but if we can get enough, we need around 15, no, way more. We need around 20,000. I would definitely prefer to get that. That was really bad ability timing on my part. I did not know the next round started. Let's try that again. Okay. Um, I think the Plasma Monkey Fan Club might have slightly better uptime. So we'll have to wait and see about that. And as soon as this time's out, Plasma. And now we get to see everything melt. Isn't that wonderful? And we still have the Ice Doll to bring back all of our abilities for next round, which we desperately need. Ice Doll is very important to this strategy. Huh, the Plasma Monkey Phantom actually doesn't get turned into a normal Phantom, so we will use Plasma and then rely on Ice Doll once again. Man, this is a good combo. Okay, thank you all for watching. If you're still here, please consider giving the video a like, because you probably enjoyed the video. Um, also, please consider subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day, and it's just awesome. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any video, or not video, video game suggestions. Um, just have a good day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for part two. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.